What is up, Buck? Doug Dini in the garage. A few months ago, I made a big decision. I finally decided between Cobalt and Dewalt. I committed to a battery platform and I've been off to the races ever since. If you saw my initial unboxing video, you know that I started with the two piece set, the drill, and the quarter inch driver comes with a two amp hour battery. Go watch that video if you wanna know what I thought about it initially, but I promised y'all that I would update you on my experience with quality uh, and just general usage with the cobalt uh, cordless tools because these are not as popular as your definitely Dewalt's, your Milwaukee's, uh, even like some of your Craftsman and Harbor Freight stuff. This stuff is not as popular, but I suspected it was just as good as the Dewalt. That's what I set out to prove. I'm still working on that, but I'm actually having a problem with the drill, and that's what I want to talk about today. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the drill. I've used it on a number of projects. Um, it's exactly what I was looking for, and in my experience, it's been just as strong as the Dewalt and Milwaukee and Hitachi units that I've used that are very similar. My issue is this. It has some sort of electrical issue, and I don't think I'm going to be able to recreate it right now because that's just the way she goes, right? You hit the trigger sometimes and it'll work, but if you take your finger off the trigger, this light starts blinking and it doesn't, it won't work again until you remove the battery for about five seconds, put it back in. What I have to assume is it's some kind of uh, electrical overload. There's a, I don't know, there's a short, uh, I suppose if I really wanted to, I could send this up to uh, Uncle Bumblefork AVE and maybe he'd rip it apart and find out what the problem is. But what I want to do today is take it back to Lowe's and see how easily they will return it. It's a huge bummer that, it, that a cordless tool that, first of all, I agonized over which brand to get, and second of all, I only got, it's May that I got it. Uh, I'm, I'm recording this in uh, early September, so uh, four or five months old, a huge bummer. But if they will take it back and the next one is fine, I will forgive them and consider this a fluke. So again, what I believe my issue here is, this tool is faulty. I've tried a bunch of different batteries. I've tried two amp, I've tried four amp. All the batteries work on all the other tools. None of the other tools have this issue. It's just the drill. Uh, and again, I would try to recreate it right now, but uh, it's intermittent. Sometimes it won't happen for two weeks, and then sometimes it'll happen literally all day long. Yesterday, I was installing my spare vise on my new uh, bench over here, and each one of these screws in between, I had to pull the battery off and uh, let it sit for five seconds. It was infuriating. That's why I'm doing this today. I've been ignoring it long enough. Let's go, and that's the other problem with it. It's kind of been doing it since day one. The first few times I thought it was a fluke. I think it actually did it. If you go back and look at the unboxing video, it actually did it kind of in the unboxing video and I didn't realize. I think we, we maxed her out there a bit. Let's see. Huh. Anyway, let's go check out how easy it is to return Cobalt Tools tools. Damn, slow down, bud. You know what it is? It's Football Sunday. And while I do love recording these videos, I'm pretty excited to go upstairs afterwards and uh, hopefully not watch the Bears lose to the Bengals. That would be embarrassing, but I have a bad feeling. Anyway, let's get in the old Scoobaroo, head up to Lowe's. See what we can do. All right, friends, here we are at Lowe's. I called ahead and I'm glad I did. I assumed I could just bring back the drill and keep, because uh, I got all this as a bundle. Again, it was the quarter inch driver, the drill driver, the battery, and the charger. They told me, nope, you got to return the whole package, which honestly is better off. I mean, this guy's already seen a little bit of abuse, so uh, I will quite happily turn him in, get a fresh one. Again, we're going in to return a tool that's five months old, I believe. The tool has a one-year warranty and Lowe's might cover it for three. We're gonna go in and find out. Well, friends, while we wait, here is the lineup of uh, cobalt cordless tools. Darn near everything that Milwaukee has. Now, this guy right here uh, is one that I wanna get my hands on a little less wieldy, kind of awkward with the uh, big rectangular battery hanging off the bottom than the Milwaukee. But uh, if you haven't seen the Torque Test channel, uh, great channel, and they did a little review of this versus the Milwaukee, the one that Eric has, and, um, or maybe it was this one, sorry, it was this one right here, uh, which comes in at, where is it? 129 bucks. I'm told, well worth the cashola. Um, brought you guys over here because I'm wondering what you guys would like to see me address because my intention is over time to really do a proper review of all these cobalt cordless tools. Hopefully this is not a harbinger of uh, my future experiences. What else do I want to grab? I want to grab the grinder at some point, of course. 
This little saw right here, it's like a mini reciprocating saw, I think would be awesome for like trimming limbs outside. Let's go and get our new tool. Alrighty friends, that I suppose could have gone smoother, I'll explain in the car, but we were successful. And there's the key right there. Uh, what is that? Five year on the tool, three year on the battery. So what is the verdict? Well, you saw I've got the box. It was right there in black and yellow. They had no choice but to give me the new tool, though they did try. Here's how it all shook out. I walked in, slammed my tools down on the counter and said, hey there, buck. I have a defective tool that I would like to warranty out. He looked at my receipt and he said, sorry, bud, you're outside the three month return window. And I said, you got mothballs in your ears there, partner. I didn't say return, I said warranty. He said, oh, well, that's fine. If you want to warranty it, you just have to call the manufacturer. And I said, bud, it's cobalt. It's a Lowe's tool. You are the manufacturer. Uh, so we got rid of, oops, we got rid of Uncle Jerry there. Somebody on my fantasy team just got a touchdown. We uh, got rid of Uncle Jerry there. He called the manager over. She expedited the process. No questions asked after that. She handed me the new tool and I walked out. That was one of the reasons I went with Cobalt uh, because of that. There's a Lowe's about a half hour from most places I end up anyway. Uh, and I know from experience with DeWalt and I imagine it's the same with Milwaukee, you have to find a dealer if there's an issue. Maybe they have to send your tool away. You may be without your tool for a while. Uh, they put this right back in my hand. To me, that's a huge win. That is a, a value uh, add to me. The fact that I can walk into Lowe's, get a new one, whatever. Uh, is the drill being bad out of the box concerning? And let's not, it, it is bad out of the box. That was not a function of abuse. Uh, it started doing it almost immediately even in that unboxing video, which again, I'll link someplace if you want to see it. Yes, it's concerning. There's going to be some Milwaukee and D-Wall fanboys down in the comments who are going to have a field day with that. To me, I'm willing to give them a one. If we're doing this video again in three months, that's a bigger problem. But for now, I'm willing to say that one was a fluke. Let's move on. Now I showed you some of the other tools in the Cobalt lineup and what I'm dedicated to doing here, and I said it in the unboxing video, one of the reasons I went with Cobalt, one of the deciding factors that I have this channel, I talk to you folks weekly, and since I couldn't find enough information for myself on the Cobalt brand when I was doing my research, I wanna, I wanna put that information out there. So let me know down there in the squawk boxes what tools you'd like to see me Jimmy Jam my hands onto and do some testing on. Uh, we're going to put that circular saw to use. Uh, certainly that reciprocating saw is going to come with us to the, uh, to the to the junk yard at some point. We'll cut through some stuff and we're going to continue testing this bad boy uh, and that's really all there is to it. There's nothing else to say. I'm not going to bother doing another unboxing because you all know what I'm going to find in there and uh, if in three months there's an issue, if at any point there's an issue, uh, future videos will be linked to this one be it cards or down in the description or, or, or somewhere else. Uh, but let me know down in there in the squawk boxes what is your experience with Cobalt? What do you think of the Cobalt brand? Overwhelming People that don't own Cobalt tell me not to buy it. People that do own Cobalt tell me to buy it. Now that might be a skewed statistic or it might not. I will leave that up to you big brains to figure out. But as far as I'm concerned, that means the people that bought it like it. I think. And it's really just the DeWalt and Milwaukee fanboys. Uh, nothing against them. Nothing against them at all. Uh, I would have loved to buy Milwaukee. I just love the way them red tools look. I really do. Uh, but... Yeah, I'm a home gamer. I'm a weekend warrior. Not even a warrior. I'm a weekend driveway monkey. And you are too, which is why you're watching this channel. So let me know down there. Blah, 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 blah. Christmas amateur. So let me know down there in the squawk boxes. Leave me the comment if you like the video. Like the video. That's just common sense. Subscribe to the channel. Maybe go check out our website, monkeywithatoolbox.com. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.